Okay, people, early in the morning, I'm looking at my news desk, and uh, what do I see? You know what I'm saying? Just in time for Nimrod's, what, birthday? Because that's what Christmas is. Christmas is Nimrod's birthday. That Christmas tree represents Nimrod's life, you know? Because when they found Nimrod, they found Nimrod slain. And his penis was missing. And that Christmas tree represents the birth of Nimrod. See, people, let me tell you something. This guy right here, Mr. Joseph uh, Siegel, Joseph Siegel, he got his start by, uh, uh, well, his, well, he owned dozens of companies. He's the founder of dozens of companies. You know, the Franklin Mint, Mint Corporation, that's one of them. QVC, that's his major accomplishment. QVC, that's like a home shopping network. Back in the early 80s, it got started, or late 80s. Well, early or late 80s, QVC got started. You know what I'm saying? You turn to the station, and they got all type of trinkets and trackets that they sell, and you can call up and use your credit card or, you know what I'm saying, and or send a check in, and you know what I'm saying, you can purchase a product. And this what this man was... um. This is what this man was known for. Now, at Christmas time, you know what I'm saying, at holiday season, you know what I'm saying, his show was a banger. Because why? People love to shop at home. I know a lot of old people that, you know what I'm saying, that to this day, they still watch QVC and the Home Shopping Network. They still be ordering from QVC and the home shopping network to this day. Mostly all, I know a lot of old people that, you know what I'm saying, shop there and, and, and frequent that. You know what I'm saying? So so this man became big at that. But you got to understand, people. You in Babylon. The success of Babylon um, will res- result, result in how well you follow orders. The the success in Babylon, yes, let me tell you something. You can have a prosperous, you know what I'm saying, supermarket or pro- prosperous mail order business or oil business. Whatever type of business you got in America, it can be prosperous just as long as you do the proper rituals in order for it to be prosperous. Any other business... It's not really that you may, you know what I'm saying? You may, you may look at, you know, because some people may look at me and be like, oh, you lying. You know what I'm saying? I know people with businesses and they're prospering. Let me tell you something. I'm not talking about just prospering in your own community, in your own neighborhood. I'm talking about to be a household name. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about your company, you know, being a household name that your company is like the, like Amazon. Everybody knows that if you need something, who do you go to? Amazon.com. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about like that. I'm talking about super Walmarts. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about companies like that. I'm talking about companies like Disney Corporations and, and major record labels. I'm talking about companies like that. In order for you to, and I'm talking about Tyler Perry Studio. In order for your corporation to be prosperous, you got to do sick and twisted rituals. You got to suck your strange little young dicks. And I'm, I hate to be so explicit, but you know what I'm saying? I got to give it to you this way. You got to suck little boys' dicks. You know what I'm saying? Just ask Africa Bambada. You know what I'm saying? He got away with sucking all them little boys' dicks, and yet he had been exposed for doing it, and yet he failed to be incarcerated. He ain't yet been incarcerated yet. He ain't yet got fi- charges filed on him yet. But yet they lock up. Bill Cosby? <laughs> Come on, people. Wake up and see this. Because I know a lot of people going to say, Oh, this man, he died at a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a, 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 a good rightful age, 88. No, he could have lived longer. And 88, that's a big ritualistic number. How, when did his company, QVC, get started? In the 80s. 
Oh, yeah, you hear me? I said his company, QVC, got started in the 80s. So it's only right that if your company got started in the 80s, it's only right that you, the reaper, come and get you at in your 80s. Because that's when you took the ritual. Yeah, you had other companies. But you didn't put the ritual work in for them other companies like you did for QVC. That's why QVC became your baby. That's why QVC became the the the, the biggest, your 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 you know what I'm saying? The 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 most recognizable. Why? Because that is the company that you put your work into. That is the company that you did the rituals for. That is the company that you sacrificed little babies' dicks for. You know what I'm saying? That is the company that you drunk blood for. That is the company that you sacrificed for. Blood, sweat, and tears. So you sacrificed for that company? And guess what? You reap the benefits and the rewards that come from that company. He started in 80s. And he ended his life in his 80s. This is what happens when you pass your soul through the fire of the mola. You will become prosperous. You will go and tour the world. But just understand that when you come out of the casket, butt naked, the first thing the juju priest tell you is how long you have to enjoy your success. You best believe this man right here, Mr. Joseph Siegel, he was told. When he came out of the casket, he was told how long he had to enjoy his success. He was told this. He knew exactly when that he was going to die. He knew this. The only people that didn't know is you all. That's why it's a shock to you all that he's dead. You know what I'm saying? So he he died. Uh, um... QVC is still going on strong. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I, got, I know old people today, you know what I'm saying, that still, you know what I'm saying, buy things from QVC and stuff like that. But this is news, people. The founder of QVC, dead at the age of 88, Mr. Joseph Siegel. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that this man is innocent. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like never before, we got to, you know what I'm saying, come out of them Canaanistic ways. Come out of the land of Canaan. That's why, like never before, we got to cling on to the Most High God. Because if you want to prosper, hey, the best way to prosper is to prosper righteously. You know what I'm saying? To prosper spreading the gospel. To prosper, the Christ said it the best. Christ said, he is the chief cornerstone. Anybody who builds their house on him, that house will survive. That house will last. That house will, you know what I'm saying, move on. But anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Luminati News Hour Radio, Gospel Talk Radio. I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And if you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this show, hit that hate button if you hate this show, hit that comment below, leave a question or comment on this show. Also, if you want to check out our podcast every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, log on to www.illuminatiexposedmedia.com. That's www.illuminatiexposedmedia.com. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.